Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna walk through how you can set up a Lambda function to run automatically based on a schedule. And this is something that I use quite a bit when I'm building Alexa skills in two cases in particular, one where the skill might need to call an external API that is slow to respond. When you're doing that, sometimes Alexa will time out before the API responds. And when that happens, I set up a Lambda function that calls the external API, and then I just cache the data locally. So I'll save it to a file or, or save it into a database so the Alexa skill doesn't need to call the API to get the information. The other time that I use it is when I'm generating flash briefing feeds. So if you wanna, uh, for example, generate a flash briefing feed that is going to use content that's scheduled for the future and you don't wanna manually be going in and, and uh, changing the feed, this is a great way to do that. And on that, I'm working on a flash briefing deep dive course that if you're interested in that kind of stuff, leave a comment and I'll send you some information on how you can get early access to that. But this is one of the strategies that we use for uh, scheduling flash briefings with that. Let's, uh, let's jump into it. You wanna head over to aws.amazon.com and sign in to the management console. And once you're in there, uh, head over to Lambda. Uh, I've got it saved, but um, or remembered, but. And then in Lambda, we're gonna create a new Lambda function and we're going to just create a really simple example just to illustrate the scheduling part. So I'll call this scheduled example. And what we'll do just so that we can see it actually firing is we'll just code up something that logs the time uh, yeah, we'll, we'll log the time and, and we'll use that to kind of see it firing on a schedule. So we'll start there. Um, it's taking a little while to load, running slow. All right, here we go. So, uh, so I'm gonna just code up a really simple example. So we'll get a new date and then we'll We'll log that, uh, run at, and then the date. So like that. And um, hello from Lambda at, and then we'll do the same thing down here. And change these to ticks so that the variable gets merged in there and that is that's it so really simple when this thing runs it's going to log the run at and then the time to the console and it's going to return hello from lambda at the um the the time so we'll test it just so we can see it working before we schedule it uh and then we'll go into the scheduling part which is the the main thing that we're talking about so test it and uh, down here yeah we can see um, it returns hello from Lambda at the time, and then down here it's logging run at the time. And um, this stuff is also gonna be logged in CloudWatch, the, um, the, uh, the monitoring logs, and we'll take a look at that in just a second. But the, the scheduling part is a, gonna be done with a trigger. So this is the, um, this is the next step, the main, main thing we're gonna do here. The trigger you wanna add is the CloudWatch events trigger, not logs, CloudWatch events trigger, this here. And once you add the trigger, you need to go configure the trigger and you come down here to rules and do create a new rule, unless you have an existing rule, if you've already created one, those will show up here. And we're gonna just, I'm gonna create one called run every minute. And of course you can name this whatever you want. <clears throat> and this description's optional, but you can add that if you wanna do that. The, um, the scheduled expression, this is what we're gonna use. And there's, there's two options here uh, for how you schedule these. I'm gonna use cron because I'm familiar with that and I'll show you how it works. So you pass in this, this function here and then the, the cron expression, which is gonna go in there and they provide an example in here. But if you're not familiar with, um, with cron and even if you are, it's hard to remember how to write cron expressions. So what I usually do 
is go online. If you Google like cron expression builder, there's a, a lot of them out there. This one is uh, cronmaker.com. And you in with cronmaker.com, you just like set up whatever schedule you want. And for this example, we'll just use like every minute and then generate cron expression. And then down here, the cron format, this is the expression that we want. And there is one change that we need to make though. So when you go back here to your Lambda function and paste that expression in, normally cron jobs can run uh, with a, I think the minimum increment is like every second. And so this first, uh, this first placeholder here or this first value here is for seconds. We need to get rid of that because with the CloudWatch events, the minimum interval is every minute. So get rid of that and everything is good. So um, this this all works great unless you need to run the function uh, in an interval that's less than a minute. That that can't be done as far as I know. But if it's a minute or more, it works. And this is all we need to do at this point. We just say add and then we uh, save it. And we'll um, let this run for, we'll let this a uh, little bit of time pass here so we get a minute that passes and then we will go check our CloudWatch logs to make sure that the events are, are logging. I don't know if I've talked for uh, a minute, but let me, um, let me fast forward so we're not just sitting here and then we'll check out the CloudWatch logs. Okay, so I'm back and a few minutes have passed now. So let's go check out our logs to confirm that our function has been running automatically every minute. So if you go to monitoring here and then view CloudWatch logs. We should be able to go in here and uh, we can see that we've got this run at here once, run twice. And if I look at the other logs, I'll see more events that have fired. So we can see here um, that logged here logged here, logged here. So it's all working. It is running automatically every minute. If you look here, it's running every minute. And that is how you schedule a Lambda function to run automatically. Hopefully that was helpful. Again, um, this is a great strategy if you're building Alexa skills, or really this is not Alexa skill specific, any Lambda or any type of app that uses Lambda that you need to run on schedule this works for. Um, also, again, uh, for the flash briefing deep dive, if you're interested in how I'm using this strategy and some other ones to do some really uh, advanced stuff with flash briefings, leave me a comment and I will send you some information about that. Thanks so much. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please like the video and subscribe to the Dabble Lab channel. Thanks so much.